Hi. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, two MPV player scripts that I wrote. Uh, one of them is called clock.lua, which uh, what it does is it shows a, a clock on your screen. And the second one is called um, oscshowhide.lua, uh, which uh, that script it hides or shows the videos uh, seek bar or uh, it's called on-screen controller hence the OSC thing in MPV that's what it's called so um, let's uh, go ahead and take a look here's the repository for uh, all of my uh, scripts for MPV player if you haven't seen other uh, videos that I made um, about uh, these scripts go ahead and uh, take a look in the description there's a link to the to a playlist there uh, but uh, let's open up um, OSC show hide and uh, clock.lua. So let's uh, start with OSC show hide because it's a very simple script. Uh, all it does is, uh, it, like I said, it just shows or hides the on screen controller. So um, if I open a video, open data, explain simply then i can press um, the forward slash key and it shows the on-screen controller at the bottom or if i press it again it hides it so uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, all that it does you can also set the hidden mode uh, to uh, to auto and that will, will uh, basically when it is hidden it will not uh, it will be hidden unless you move your mouse basically if you move your mouse then it will show up um, um, but yeah uh, that's pretty much what it does I mean I can demonstrate it actually uh, let me uh, script uh, go script opts equals let's see show hide dash hidden mode uh, equals um, auto so now uh, when it's shown is just uh, it just shows up when it's hidden if you move your mouse it pops up uh, momentarily before it disappears again so that's uh, what you can uh, how you can configure this script uh, it has this one option you can also use a config file if you don't know how to uh, set uh, options for MPV scripts um, this is like a standard uh, way that you set uh, options in MPV scripts and I, I've gone over it in uh, in uh, the video number three in this uh, series basically if you go to this playlist I only have two videos here right now uh, these are older videos that I made about MPV so there's gonna be a video number three here that's where I go over how to set options and also how to change uh, key bindings so take a look at that if you haven't um, so that's uh, everything yeah that's all about uh, that I want to talk about when it comes to OSC show hide dot lua now let's take a look at the clock script um, this is also a very simple script um, basically open data explain simply um, what it does is uh, it shows the clock on the screen like this uh, the default key binding is the question mark key which is shift for a slash uh, so uh, that's how you can show or hide the clock and that's basically the whole idea Some, sometimes it's nice to have a clock over there so that you know what time it is as you're watching something so um, you can configure this uh, so if you want to use the same font uh, as I uh, just uh, as the one as a, that I just showed you, you can download this VCR OSD Mono font from uh, by going to this link, and uh, and yeah, then install it on your system, and that's uh, that's uh, then it's gonna work. Uh, that's the default value of this option. If you want to use some different font, obviously just change this value. Um, in the way that it's described in that video number three that I just uh, recently mentioned. 
so you can set font size and like you can position the clock uh, however you want you might need to adjust these values like if you change the font it might kind of uh, start to show show up a bit off like uh, and then you need to adjust these values uh, it says here that negative values indicate offset from the right so if you want to count from the right uh, then use the negative value uh, and this is like a position of the top left corner of the clock uh, so it's basically th 327 pixels from the right and 106 pixels from the top is the default settings but that's based on this font so if you use a different one you might need to adjust it if it doesn't look right then you can configure uh, the format uh, in which the uh, the time shows up so I have it uh, set to hours minutes set minutes and seconds by default you can change that and you can uh, take a look at um, what formatting options are available by going to this page or just run uh, man uh, strf uh, time in your terminal and it'll have the same information but basically here's the different uh, tags that you can use and uh, you just put them here in this in this string and yeah that's how you do it um, it's not uh, very complicated so so yeah that's how you change the format update timeout just means uh, how often the clock updates so since i have seconds here it's up it updates uh, once every second um, so yeah uh, that's what that does and you can also set it to show on start or not by default it's hidden on start um, so yeah this is basically it for this video this is a very short one but i just wanted to show you these uh, two scripts and uh, in the next one i'm gonna uh, go over the um, some of the other scripts uh, in, in this repo but uh, as for this vi video this is it uh, thanks for watching i hope you've uh, found this valuable and uh, I hope these scripts uh, you, you found these scripts useful and uh, I'll see you in the next one